<laughs> Let's go. He's nice. Now that's a coward. Finally happened. Oh man. Wow. Look at the payoff. Yeah, buddy. We did it. We're gonna head to the blind with my buddy Austin Otis. Um, he roosted a couple birds the night before um, on some public ground close to home. So he talked me into buying a tag and bringing my bow along. And we went in pretty early and set the blind up, got everything situated. And it started off pretty slow. Um, but check out what happens next. What an exciting hunt. Came in last night, we're on public land. Came in last night and had birds roosted uh, about 200 yards from here or so. So we set up in this open grass area this morning where we thought we'd come out and maybe they'd start strutting around as the morning progressed. And uh, it was real quiet this morning. We didn't have a single gobble on the roost. We heard our first gobble about 7.30. I think we, we were thinking that they were on the ground at that point and then nothing. And we assumed that they went the other way and about an hour later, we looked out to the west, about probably 250 yards away, we seen two hens and these two toms that were strutting. And for the longest time, they just hung out there. They started walking away to the south and Garrett got on my slate call and he started purring and man, that drove them nuts. They came running in, I mean, literally within 10 minutes probably, they went from 200 yards to right in our laps. And we both, put pretty good shots on our birds. We still got to go and find Garrett's, but with any luck, hopefully it's right around the corner. And what an exciting hunt though. Couldn't ask for much more. Well, Austin's bird dropped right by the decoy, as you saw, and then I handed the camera off to him and drew back and shot the other Tom on top of the Jake decoy. And it looked like a good shot. The arrow went into him and it was sticking out both sides and he looked like he was hurting and then he took off running around the trees over here and we figured he was dead but Austin's bird right there so we gave him probably a half hour and went looking for mine looking up in the cedars and I got on got on my hands and knees and looking through the thick stuff and found my arrow right next to me and it's completely covered in blood 
shows it. But no more than I told Austin I found the arrow. He said he found the bird laying up in the cedars and it looked dead. It was laying flat with his legs behind him and his head on the ground. And then all of a sudden he picked his head up and took off running up around the cornfield, ran past me. So I don't know, we're gonna pack stuff up and go back and look where he was laying, see how much blood's laying there and then probably just work our way into the trees. Well, we're not really sure what to think right now. We searched every bit of trees in this public piece, especially where that bird went and didn't find anything. Uh, the only way we could have passed by him is if he crawled up into a brush pile somewhere, but we searched everything we possibly could. And kind of our thought right now is that he got up on top of the hill where we last saw him. There's a cornfield up on a high ridge. We're kind of thinking he got up there and flew and either made it across the lake here to the other side or flew down into the valley on private property. But I think we we both agree we did everything we could have done to find him here. So it kind of sucks because it was a good hit. Still a fun hunt. Got Austin a bird. Yeah, it's a hell of a morning. <laughs> good times. We're going to get pictures of this guy and pack stuff up and get back out of here. Covered the decoys in blood. Get spurs.
guess it's coming. Did you get there? Big Tom. It's a nice one. Does he have good spurs? Yeah. Awesome dude. He's got a nice beard too. Got. How many years has it been since we've been out together? I can't even remember. Uh, it's been at least three. Oh. <laughs> yeah, all right. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Did our typical class and setup. Pretty fun. That was a lot of fun. <laughs> All right, it's the morning of May 18th, and this is actually my first actual turkey hunt myself. I've had probably 20 plus sits already, uh, just filming everybody else, and a couple run and gun hunts I tried to make um, while I was fishing, chasing gobbles, and um, Hit one bird early this season, sitting with one of my buddies, and ended up losing it somehow. But up here at the ranch this weekend doing food plot stuff, so um, figured I'd sneak out this morning and try to get close-ish to the roost and call a couple toms off and try to whack one with the shotgun.
I just killed my first turkey of the season on May 18th. Uh, like I said earlier this morning, I've just been filming everybody all season, which is fun. I, I have just about as much fun filming somebody kill one as I do um, killing one myself, but this is the first hunt I've gone out by myself and self-filmed uh, sitting next to a tree with a shotgun. It's actually the first time I've done that. Borrowed a couple decoys from my brother. And then my setup right here next to the tree had the big camera and just sitting right next to a tree like a lot of guys do with shotguns. It's the first time it's worked for me, but had this Tom gobbling off the roost since I walked in here and set the decoys up this morning. And he basically could tell it was a Tom by how deep his gobble was, but um, he was pretty, pretty active the lighter it got. And then um, you could hear the hens start yelping and he was gobbling back constantly to that uh, little box call that does the yelp and the purr really good. Um, but it sounded like there was a few birds still flying down so he, I could hear him spit drumming and he'd gobble like right under the roost constantly. Um, and then one hen flew off the roost and flew down probably 30 yards uh, to the left side of these decoys. And as soon as she came down, he started moving. It was, it was quick from there. It probably took him maybe a minute to get from under the roost to out here but I thought I thought he would maybe circle in and come straight into the decoys um, but I don't I don't know if he's been hunted before or what but he kind of skirted around the edge of the creek and I figured it was now or never and blasted him pretty far shot for a shotgun but it laid him out let's go check him out bad bird. Decent beard on him, probably about eight inches. Not real bad spurs for a Nebraska turkey either. It's probably my bigger bird for a while. Nice lighter fan. That was an awesome hunt. Pretty excited and pretty proud to get this one. Um, first, this is my first solo trip of the year and first time sitting next to a tree with a shotgun kind of running gun style um like i said i got set up down here we're probably 250 yards from where he sounded like he was roosted and i came in pretty blind this morning i knew turkeys had been in this area um, the past few years but um, heard him and another one goblin off farther in the distance and pretty much just called back and forth to him all morning and when the last hen finally flew out of the roost, she flew all the way over the trees and landed probably 30 yards from the decoys over there. And as soon as she flew off, it didn't take him long to work his way down this creek bank. But as you can see in the video, he kind of skirted around the decoys and made a pretty far shot on him. Honestly, it's probably close to 50 yards. And usually I don't try to make that far shots, especially with a shotgun, but it worked. It put him down right away. Um, yeah, pretty, pretty proud of this bird.